Hello, this is Tazlon. I'm in Redshire South Spawn in my VK2801 for a lighthouse tutorial on scout rolls. This video is going to be on the delayed rush. Now a couple of videos ago I showed you an example of a delayed rush, but I'm going to look at a delayed rush more in depth. And let me just say right now, I don't know if you will or not, but if you hear somebody laughing like a fool in the background, my 13-year-old son is sitting over here watching videos on a on my wife's laptop, and um, that's going to be him. So if you hear something that sounds like a perverted hyena, it's Ben. Just so you know. <laughs> so delayed rush. There's a couple different rushes, maybe three. You do in game. Hopefully, the first one you don't do very often. That's a suicide rush. Noob scouts do it a lot because they've seen it in the lower tiers, and that's when timer hits zero you just take off like a fool and run toward the enemy team fast as you can and hopefully stay alive long enough for your team to shoot something that you see most of the time very ineffective way to do a rush second one is extremely uncommon it's a team rush and that is where you get four or five lights maybe some fast mediums to go with you at the start and you basically do a mass suicide type rush but if you do it with with other good players it, it can be highly effective simply because the amount of tanks coming in on the enemy they don't know they aren't coordinated enough to focus fire and you can get away with all kinds of things you couldn't get away with as a lone tank I've been in battles where they just completely wiped out enemy team because we had six scouts descend upon them right away and just go crazy on them but it's very rare you usually won't get enough scouts in one battle to do it and even if you do you normally won't get enough scouts to agree to do it to make it worthwhile so that leaves us with a delayed rush if you're not doing the other two kinds of rushes then at the beginning of the game you're going passive spot or active spot anti-scout or some other such thing and as the game progresses you may see where a hole opens up in the enemy defense and if you're paying attention to the minimap counting the tanks that you see you may end up with a great opportunity to do a delayed rush and that's simply a rush you do later on in the game instead of doing it right at the beginning you delay it until the situation is ripe to make it successful there's a couple pros to waiting. Obviously, if you wait until you see a gap in the defense, you have a much greater chance of successfully infiltrating behind lines. So it's normally more effective than a suicide rush. It allows you to go into a tr quick transition into other scout roles and help your team more. And it's very demoralizing to an enemy team if all of a sudden in the middle of the battle a scout pops up behind them and starts picking tanks off some cons to doing this if you don't have your enemy tanks counted right or you guess wrong where one of them is you can die very quickly you go around a turn and there's a big gun pointed right at you and that's the end of the ball game if the enemy sees you along the way and reacts quickly you can end up isolated in a firefight with nobody close and able to help you and sometimes going behind enemy lines puts you in a much worse position than you were when you started because if you end up in a bottleneck maybe you go in where you think there's already and he's not there and all of a sudden a tank comes in behind you there's only one way out and you're stuck so you end up behind a rock hoping for help <laughs> with nobody close enough to help you so it kinda neutralizes your tank for a long time or you die one of the prime things you should consider as you go have an escape route in mind you know where you're going always it's like it's like driving down the highway it's like okay if this person pulls out what am I gonna do well if I go around this turn and there's a tank what am I gonna do if I go kill this artillery and that Cromwell B over there starts coming after me, what am I going to do? Have a plan in mind already so you don't panic. If you have a plan, 
then chances are if the situation arises you'll be ready to employ your plan and you'll make a more educated reaction and more controlled reaction to the situation as it evolves. You get a greater degree of success if you know what you're going to do and plan ahead. Ideally your engine, ammo rack, and crew are all going to be a hundred percent. Because once you pop out behind lines until you can fight your way back out, you're on your own. If Artie's not involved, you have no help. So if you go in with a damaged tank or a driver that's hurt or a commander that's hurt, you're really stacking the odds against you. If you don't know where everybody is, you may want to stop in a bush along the way and sit for a while. See if you can figure out where those couple unknown tanks are before you go and then you can change the route you're going to take and plan a more effective route. As I said, once you complete a delayed rush, it's very easy to tra transition to other scout roles. Arty hunting, active spotting, distraction scouting, search and destroy, flanking, maybe even capping if the situation is right. It often puts you in a great position to move on to do other things that can really be beneficial for your team. A couple things to keep in mind. Use your quick counts, and I'll make another YouTube in the future that talks about quick counts in more depth. Y ideally you, you know where all but three or less enemy tanks are not counting the artillery. T if you can tell your arty where you're going before you take off. Just say hey I'm going here and then click on the map two or three s clicks to show them your your general route. If you get arty aimed in at the places where you're going to pop out at your rush can be a lot more effective because now you have friendly support fire halfway across the map or all the way across the map. Plan your route so you use as much environmental camo as possible. The longer you stay undetected the greater your chance of success. Ideally the enemy has no idea what you're up to until you take your first couple shots at an enemy tank. And then like I said, remain flexible. Don't get so locked into I'm going to do here and do this that you keep trying to do it after it's obvious you're going to fail if you keep going. If you, re if you meet unaccounted resistance, use your escape plan and get out of dodge. So in this battle, we have three artillery apiece one scout on their team, two on ours, three TDs apiece, a mix of mediums and heavies along the way. I'm going to start off going to a pretty popular spotting location from the south spawn. The north spawn gets their great little bush up in here and as a counter we get the not as awesome bush but still highly effective over here. I'll show you where it's at. A lot of people use it. Just pull up here to the left of this rock. Set up in this bush. It's really great for spotting over here on the north east side of the map you don't get to see as much over on the middle hill. So I see four tanks already coming across. There's it three. No, four. And now here's something. Don't be afraid of doing what I'm going to do. I back up to where I won't expose myself. I'm going to fire into that bush right over there. You can see right where I'm firing at. The enemy scouts love to use. It's just an awesome passive spotting location. Vision control is an important part of the game. If I can fire into that bush, whether I hit somebody or not, if I can scare the hell out of them and make them back out, I'm doing my job. I'm keeping them out of a position where they can spot a lot of my team. And I'm kind of worried right now because our heavies didn't go to the east pass over here to my right. Just a couple mediums and TDs did, so I think they're going to be overwhelmed, but I have to watch. Our tiger's down by the bridge. I don't, that's a strange place for a heavy to go, but 
there's SU-100 over there. I'll see if I get a shot at him. He's backing down. His sixth sense went off and he's leaving. There's, whoa. Hellcat over to my right. That's a nice, a lot of people like to go up there and you can see why it's not really a great idea. Because <laughs> if there's somebody in the bush where I'm at, you get a free shot at them before they know you're there. And when you have a gun like I do, that's major hurt on the Hellcat. He's having a bad day. Watch what happens. Oh man. Artie just took him out. Good shot, Artie. Whenever Artie does something, I always give him encouragement. So many people hate on him. It's like I like to tell him, hey, good job, man. Now, I don't know if you saw it. If Once they light up again, I'll show you. There's three dead tanks right now on the enemy team. I can see three enemy tanks over to my left, four enemy tanks over to my right, four enemy tanks over to my left now. So three dead tanks plus four plus four. Whoa, there's the other one. Right now, I know where every single enemy tank is except their artillery. And I know the artillery is going to be back in here somewhere. So if this SU-100 dies, I am making a delayed rush. I already know. I'm just waiting on him to die. I'll help him die if I can. If he backs up again, I'll take a shot at him. Try to hit him. Way high. There he goes. I am gone. I'm not waiting. I'm not hesitating. I'm not taking time to tell Artie I want to take off. <clears throat> that tiger, that big old tiger's down there and nobody can see him. And I know why, because there's everybody's way on the edges of the map. They're on the other side of the middle ridge and off to the west, and they're here on the east pass. They aren't going to be able to see me. So I'm going to veer over here to the right. Right along this edge of the map, there's a little depression that's going to hide my movement all the way into Artie Land. I had my quick counts down. I knew where every single tank was against Artie. This is like the ideal delay rush scenario. Now, watch this run I make. You may see better runs if there's more arty in the game, but going against three arty, this is about as efficient and quick as you can make a killing pass. This was fun to do. Coming up in just a few seconds. There's the first arty. I'm going, he's not looking at me. I'm going to pull in close to where I can't miss the shot. I shouldn't say that because I somehow managed to miss shots I shouldn't miss, but I that one hit. There's the next arty. Kabam! You're gone. One arty to go. It's a Hummel. Hummels are usually one shots. Let's hope I find him and he's not looking at me. Bam! There's the space. You can rewind it if you want. But man, that was like 12, 13, 14 seconds. Three artillery gone. Three shots. Three kills. And I'm moving on to go back toward my team and help them with the rest of the battle. That is about as quick as a pass coochie as you will ever see. And that is the beauty of a delayed rush, especially in this tank. The T-49 has a little bit bigger boom than I do, but he has a longer reload. He couldn't have done it like that. Most other scouts couldn't do it because they don't have the boom to take him out in one shot. They have to sh put, put in multiple shots, and so they have to loiter. I love driving this tank for that. I'm, ooh, I missed that shot. I'm not going to miss the next one. I think my gunner was so happy about that 3 for 3 that he forgot what he was doing on the 26th there. Oops, I don't want to be lit up without knowing there's the IS-2. I'm not going head on into him. I'll bend around and come up on top of the hill again. Because he's going to try to break up Cap. T-29's way over on the other side of the map coming in on Artie. There's no way I can get there in time to save that Artie, so I'll just concentrate on this IS-2. Try to shoot him while he shoots my Tiger. Okay. I'm thinking about the IS-2 T-29. It's like, nope. I'm going to go help with the T-29 first. Let's gang up on people and then we can come gang up on the IS-2 and make this a safe a safe win. But it looks like the Cromwell has the T-29 well in hand. Took him down and didn't even take damage. Good job. 
So back to the IS-2. Had to figure out where he went. <laughs> you know the IS-2 is crestfallen now. He's like, wow. It's like, oh my god. That Cromwell just tore up my T-29. Now I'm in this by myself. <laughs> he knows he's going down. Ooh, and again, I don't want to go straight in on that guy. Not from that distance with his gun already looking at me. Nope. I'll just circle around a little bit. Go back the other way. Let the Cromwell come in to where... If he does manage to kill me, the Cromwell's going to be close enough to finish him off. Now I'm going to come in, see where he's at. Ah, oh, straight ahead. Make a run right at him. Ready? Ready? Bang! Goodbye. I missed a shot. I went right over him, but I didn't miss the ram. And this tank's an awesome rammer. So for the battle, I end up with 1,875 XP, 9 spots. 797 spotting damage, 5 kills, 1,866 damage, a pass coochie, a scout, and a kamikaze medal. Good little haul, most biggest medal of all, the win. So there's a look, a little bit more in depth at a delayed rush. As you sit there passive, or as you wait to anti-scout, or as you're doing anything else, keep looking at your minimap, count your tanks. I got to the ideal situation of where I knew where every single tank was. The, M the 100, um, the TD, the 100 um, M1 was the only, or the SU-100, I mean, was the only guy who could have seen me. So as soon as he died, it was off to the races, and it set up just one of those ideal situations where he had three arties spaced out perfectly for my reload. I could just bam, 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 take them all out, go back to join my team. Like I said, a delayed rush, if you do it and you're effective at the point of attack, I turned me into arty hunting, and then I went into basically flanking for the guys trying to shoot our, uh, our capper. Wait until the time is right. Don't force it. Don't say, I'm going to do a delayed rush no matter what. Man, there's still six tanks, but I know I can do it. No, you're going to fail most of the time. Wait until the situation is there when the door opens take it but don't knock down the door because you'll regret it wait for the door to open be patient and when that door does open then be ready to go through it do what you have to do and have fun from redshire south spawn happy hunting